Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name's Lizzie and today I've got a fabric haul to show you. Now, I wasn't really supposed to do any fabric chopping for a while because I do kind of have this rule where I buy about three pieces of fabric and then don't buy any more until I've sewn with them. And yeah, that kind of went out the window this time because I've now got a whole host of fabrics I haven't sewn with yet. But that means I really am on a fabric chopping ban now until I've done quite a bit of sewing. Um, but yeah, I've got five pieces of fabric to show you. I'm so excited about them all. And I really had, yeah, quite a bit of a splurge because they're all very lovely fabrics from very, very lovely fabric shops. Um, so yeah, unfortunately for my purse strings at least, they're not kind of market bargains. But anyway, without further ado, let me get started. The first piece of fabric is from Sew Over It and I ordered it online because I just, I never can find time in my week to actually travel to fabric shops. I don't live, I live in London, but I don't live immediately close to any of the really lovely fabric shops. So I order all my fabric online, which has its massive pros and cons, but this time it's gotten pretty well and I've got what I expected to get. Um, so this lovely fabric, ah, oh, just look at it, isn't it so nice? It's a Ponte Roma and the title, what they call it on the website is Ponte de Roma Jersey Turkish Bath Blue. Now I have had a look on the website this morning and unfortunately it looks like they're now out of stock in this blue one but they do have it in black. Um, so I'm going to hold it up to the camera a bit closer so you can see it. I just absolutely love this print. It's just so lovely and I love that it's blue and white and I love that when I actually hold it up to myself I feel like there's enough blue in it for it to not look too pale for me because I don't really like wearing things that have loads and loads of white in. It's a Ponte de Roma and I have had a look at the website to check on the um, sort of fiber content. It's 70% viscose, 27% polyester and 3% elastane. And yeah, they describe it as like a jacquard knit and it's just so lovely because the fact that it's jacquard means that it's just got such a lovely texture. The pattern's not just like printed onto the fabric, it's actually woven into the fabric. It's really, really nice, guys. And I do have a plan for what I want to make with this. I'm gonna use this to make my very first simple sew um, pattern. So I've been asked to be part of the blogger team this year, which I was so excited to be asked to do. So I'm part of the Simple Sew blogging team and I'm gonna be making one of the Simple Sew patterns, sort of one every two months. And I'm gonna be making a blog post to put on the Simple Sew website and I'm sure I'll show you guys on this channel as well at some point. But yeah, I'm making the Simple Sew Bella dress. This is the packet. So as you can see, it's like a cowl neck or sort of funnel neck dress. It's got a few darts to give it a little bit of shape and it's got these um, bell shaped sleeves. Now I've not decided if I'm definitely gonna keep the bell shaped sleeves or not. I might just make them straight sleeves because I'm not sure if it might be a bit too much in this fabric to have it with the bell sleeves. I might just want it a bit more simple. Pattern calls for wool, heavyweight jersey, any fabric with a two-way stretch. So I'm hoping this nice textured Ponte Roma will be just the thing. Um, so yeah, keep your eyes peeled on the Simple Sew blogger, um, Simple Sew blog um, for this one. I bought another fabric from Sew Over It whilst I was on, the, whilst I was on their website and uh, just look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm literally in heaven. Look at this jersey, look at this colour. It's just absolutely stunning. Like, look at that. And it's got a really nice sheen to it. So on their website, they list it as lightweight jersey, vintage brass, and it's mercerized cotton jersey. I have no idea what mercerized is. Probably should have Googled that before I filmed this video. Um, but yeah, it's got a lovely sheen to it. Like, it's almost... It's almost a little, it's not shiny exactly, but it's just got so much drape and it's really smooth and silky. And I am going to make a named Paula out of this. It's, yeah, it'll be the perfect weight for like a top, like a t-shirt. The Paula, the Paula polo neck tee is sort of designed to be t-shirts. So I think it's gonna be perfect for that. I bought one meter. The pattern does call for a bit more than a meter, but I'm quite lucky that I'm like on the smaller end of the sizes, so I'm just gonna make it work. I'm gonna squeeze out of one meter. In terms of fiber content, it's 100% cotton. So yeah, really lovely, and I think it'll be lovely to wear. The next shop that I accidentally had a splurge on was Fabric Godmother, and Fabric Godmother is so my 
It's like my Achilles heel for fabric shopping. I just love the fabrics that are on the Fabric Godmother website. It's something to do with the colours. I just think um, she has a really good eye for colour and has the most beautiful, rich coloured fabrics. Anyway, um, I got completely tempted by this. It is a beautiful, rich navy blue um, crepe scuba. Now, I've been wanting to sew with scuba for ages because I've seen some people make some really amazing dresses and things out of scuba, but I've been a bit scared of it as well because, as I said, I do quite a lot of my fabric shopping online, and I know some scubas, I just was worried if I ordered it online, it might be a bit like wetsuit fabric if I wasn't able to like touch it and feel it and see exactly what that particular scuba is like. But this is a crepe scuba, so I knew that it would have like quite a lovely drape because it's got that crepe element to it. In terms of the content, it is 95% polyester and 5% elastane. Um, yeah, and actually I've really gone off piece with this one because I never normally let myself buy something unless I know what I'd want to make with it. I actually really don't know what to make out of this. I bought two meters um, and it was nine pounds a metre this one. I'm not sure, I want to make a dress out of it I think, and potentially something smart enough to wear to work. So if any of you have any pattern recommendations that would be really good for a crepe scuba, I mean the crepe means that look it's got this lovely drape, but the scuba means it's also quite sturdy. Yeah, let me know, I'm gonna have to do some thinking on that one. Of course, I bought a second fabric whilst I was on the Fabric Godmother website as well. I always end up with about six things in my basket and have to whistle it down to what my bank balance can, you know, can deal with. And I'd actually had my eye on this for ages. It's a bottle green fleece sweatshirting. Just look at this colour. Oh, it's coming up a bit dark and dull on screen actually, but it's just the most beautiful, rich, bottle green and I've been wanting to wear something of this kind of colour for a long time because I think it's quite flattering with my skin tone and my hair colour. On the website it's called sweat, no what is it called? Sweatshirt fleece bottle green. I bought a metre of this which isn't very much but I'm pretty determined, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to squeeze out a Nina Lee Southbank sweater in either the cropped version or maybe the like the standard like full full length like jumper version and um, yeah because I just really love the idea of having yeah a big cosy like roll neck green fleecy jumper I just think it'd be so nice and I feel like that it might be starting to get a little bit seasonally inappropriate for making big cosy jumpers because thank goodness it feels like spring might be just around the corner but actually let's face it we still have cold weather in March and April and I'm always cold, so I think I'll be wearing a nice, green, cosy, Nina Lee South Bank jumper for, you know, until May, probably. <laughs> In terms of fibre content, it's a polyester cotton mix. It's got 25% stretch, and it is a, yeah, a fleece-backed sweatshirt fabric. So, last, but by no means least, this is the final fabric that I've bought recently. Ah, just look at it, it is so so beautiful. It is a crepe and it is the most beautiful green tropical leaf print on a black background. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's black, yeah, black rather than navy. So it's from Guthrie and Garni and I bought two and a half meters of it. It was £14.50 a meter, so not cheap, but worth it. Look at this. Um, I'd never shopped from Guthrie and Garni before and I'm so glad that I've discovered their website because they have the most beautiful fabric selection. It's not cheap, it's all really good quality, like designer fabric, so yeah, you have to go on their website prepared to part with a little bit of money, but what I absolutely love is you can order in 10 centimeter increments. <gasps> Hallelujah! Like, I just think that's the best thing because, for example, on Fabric Godmother, although I absolutely love her fabric selection, I do find it a little bit frustrating that you can only buy like a whole metre, you can't even buy in half metre increments. So you might only need one and a half metres, but you have to buy two metres. You've got like half, a whole half a metre just spare that you're having to pay for, and then it's probably gonna end up in like your scrap pile or whatever. Um, but on Guthrie and Garni, you can order in 10 centimetre increments. I actually just needed two and a half metres, but I could have ordered 
two meters and 60 centimeters or two meters and 70 centimeters which is just it's great because it saves you wasting money but it also saves you from wasting fabric and from buying more than you need so thumbs up for Grigory and Garni I will definitely be shopping there again I am going to be using this to make a jumpsuit to wear to a wedding tropical print a bit too much for a wedding you might ask but this wedding is in California ah! so lucky we're going to we're going to the whole reason we're going to california is because of this wedding of a really really close friend of ours and of course if we're gonna go to california we're gonna make a two-week trip out of it so um yeah i'll keep you posted on what i'm up to in california in a few weeks time this is what i'm making to take with me to wear to the wedding because it's a really like laid back casual um, wedding and yeah it's not going to be super formal so I've been assured that my tropical jumpsuit will be perfectly within the dress code. The pattern that I will be using is this one, my um, tried and tested Vogue very easy V9075 pattern. I'm going to be making this view with like the longer legs, the collot style trouser legs, but I'm going to leave the sleeves off. I've actually done that exact same combination before in red crepe and I made it for New Year's Eve. If you haven't seen my video, I'll put a link in the corner now so you can go and check out my red version. But yeah, I'm just really excited to make a green leafy version. I think it's going to be so great for this casual, laid back, chilled out wedding we're going to. So there you have it, those are the five fabrics that I have been buying recently. Um, I'm very sorry that my videos are still very echoey. I'm almost ready to put curtains up at the windows which will help with that um and i'm sorry if the sun has been catching me i'm having to like sit further and further back on my sofa because the sun is starting to come around and shine on me and i don't have any curtains up yet to be able to shade the sun so sorry if that's been annoying guys um you may also notice that i'm sitting on a sofa ah! so the whole new flat thing is coming along and we've got our sofa which i'm so grateful for because we were sitting just at our dining table every evening for a good like seven weeks or so um and it's just so nice to have a sofa to sit on but yeah, anyway, I am going to be sewing like crazy to make all of these things. I'm not setting myself any kind of deadlines. I'm just going to be sewing over the next few months. But as I finish each item, I will no doubt be posting it on Instagram and posting it on in a video. So yeah, do click subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. Please do give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.